17 year old girl and two men have been jailed for a minimum of 84 years in total for murdering a man in a horror park attack. Teenager Dion Timms Williams, who was then just age 16, joined Jason Edwards, who was 25, and Lee Strickland, who was 36, for the brutal robbery and killing. Father of two, Dr. Gary Jenkins, who was 54 years old, was attacked in the shadow of the historic castle whilst audio CCTV footage captured his dying pleas for help. A court heard Dr. Jenkins went into Butte Park in Cardiff in the early hours of the morning when the three attacked him. Tims Williams was spotted laughing by a witness as she punched and kicked Dr. Jenkins. She could be heard shouting, do it, in a 15-minute recording. Edwards could also be heard on the chilling footage as he shouted, stamp his head now, stamp on it. Cardiff Crown Court heard the witness, Louis Williams, desperately tried to shield Dr. Jenkins from the fatal blows near the Summer House Cafe. He told police that Tims Williams was fucking evil, sadistic, following the attack. In his victim impact statement, Mr. Williams said, I still feel this is not about me. I did not get killed. I feel guilty still. I'm shocked that a juvenile can do such things and it has made me question our society. So the court heard Mr. Williams was left wondering, should I have been a better fighter after Dr. Jenkins' horrific death? The prosecutor previously said the attackers had positioned themselves in the park to target somebody for robbery and violence. Strickland was spotted on CCTV just eight minutes after the attack when he attempted to buy whiskey with Dr. Jenkins' stolen bank card. The court heard Edwards and Tims Williams was also seen on security footage after they left the park and shared a hug. Tims Williams later gave a prepared statement to police where she claimed she was forced to join the attack because she was scared for her life. She said, I was terrified and scared for my life. I thought if I didn't do what he wanted, I would die. I couldn't believe what was going on. The trial previously heard that Dr Jenkins had gone to the park looking to meet like-minded men on July the 20th last year. However, he was rushed to the University Hospital of Wales, but he died of an unsurvivable brain injury 16 days later. In a victim impact statement, his wife said the family's world fell apart when they found out about the attack. She said, as a family, we are devastated to learn what happened to Gary, as he was such a kind soul who would not hurt anyone. Gary was smart and funny and the heart and soul of every party. After seeing Gary in hospital unconscious and unrecognisable, we have all had to face up to the nightmare of what happened to him. Mrs Jenkins said that their daughters have struggled in school and have recurrent nightmares following their father's death. So Edward Strickland and Tim's William pleaded guilty to manslaughter, robbery and assault occasioned actual bodily harm. But they were found guilty of murder after a trial at Murphy Tidwell Crown Court. The defence, Caroline Reese, for Tim Williams said the teenager had borderline personality disorder and experienced alcohol and drug dependency following trauma. The court heard Tim Williams had received a caution in 2019 for possessing a blade. Edwards had 35 previous convictions and Lee Strickland had 58 convictions on his record. Judge Daniel Williams said Gary Jenkins was kind, generous, he was compassionate and was humane. He was a much-loved husband, a father, a brother, an uncle and a friend. He gave his professional life as a psychiatrist to relieve suffering of others and he went the extra mile for his patients. Went on to say, it will be some comfort for those who endured his loss to reflect on the good he did in his 54 years and not the terrible moments of his death. The judge said the three went to Butte Park to target homosexual men who they believe were unlikely to report the crime to police. So Edwards and Strickland were both sentenced to life with a minimum term of 33 years and Dion Tims Williams was handed a life sentence with a minimum of 18 years. A story where three people have been jailed after they were laughing whilst they were torturing a doctor and they've been jailed for life. Rest in peace Dr Gary Jenkins and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real. Keep it real. A new story that I put up on Crimecast with regards to a British businessman who was shot dead in Mexico after he had some beef with some Mexican cartel members. I'll put the link in the description below, so go check that one out.